Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Road Tour. And you know what? We're going to talk about just a little bit on this episode. We're going to talk about connections. Not connections like between uh, male and female plugs, you know, like on a uh, wire. But connections that people make. Potentially in real life. Look at this perfect little romantic couple right down here. Just laying back, just relaxing. And, you know, who knows what their story actually is, right? But I can tell you, I was in this exact same shack. Probably seven years ago. With a female that I knew and became acquainted with from another game, World of Warcraft to be exact. I was a guild uh, leader and we became really good friends. We stayed in contact, but then we became kind of romantically connected virtually and had all these concepts to connect in real life and this and that and hey sometimes it happens second life is just flooded with these same stories and hey some of them they do end with people meeting up in real life and actually having real life relationships, marriages, or whatever you want to call it, partnerships, same sex partnerships. It's totally understandable. It happens. But let me give you some advice. Okay, you are in a virtual world where people have that anonymity and you don't really know what's going on in their real life behind the scenes. Okay. You know, this one gal that I was involved with, after a few months of tireless effort involved with her communication and all the role play, you know, paragraphs after one after another just to make her happy, Came to find out, well, she had kind of an estranged fiance, and she was like some privileged girl and some status, which, you know, uh, did come out through our real life connections that we did off the game. And it's just kind of insult to injury, okay? My suggestion is. Use a platform to have a good time. I know people are lonely. Believe me, I have encountered men, women, animals that they have relationships in real life, marriages, very successful. And some of the things that they will share with you, you know, I cannot speak of that. But, you know, what I will tell you is Enjoy the time you have, make those connections, and make those friendships. And if it goes a little bit further than that, then enjoy it, but realize and be mature about it at the same time. It's virtual, okay? As much as you want your privacy and space respected in real life, respect theirs as well, okay? And I say this because I, I, I know a lot of females, probably hundreds over the past few short years that I've taught to that are married in relationships and they get on the game because that marriage is not that great but they are not going to end that marriage because obvious reasons there's kids involved financial issues involved uh, society status involved things like that you guys understand what I'm saying yeah, but they wait till the husband is away at work or he's off in the other room asleep. Yeah, it's crazy, but it really does happen on here. Enjoy the platform for what it is. 
okay? Be very careful. Do not get taken advantage of, but do not take advantage of other people, all right? Keep in mind the boundaries. Everyone has boundaries. You have your own boundaries, whether you're male or female or a, a goat, okay? You have boundaries. Respect those boundaries, get to know people, and you can have some really exciting times with people on the Second Life platform. You really can. I mean, there is nothing more enjoyable than having like a group of people you know. Say like you would like in another game, having a group or a guild, right? And like on this platform, you can just get together with those people. Even if you have different time zones, I understand that it can be a real pain in the ass. You know, if you're four hours apart, eight hours apart, 12, or 12 hours apart. I experience that even to this day. But you can make connections with those people. Go out to some of the clubs, listen to music, or go see some of the other really cool sites. Tour around, do stuff, do stuff together. And be on each other's friends list. So, like, you can have a conference type of thing in voice and all talk. There is nothing more enjoyable and fulfilling to just hop on the Second Life platform to actually unwind, okay? All you have to do, hop on, have that connection going, unwind with people, and just let go of the stresses in your real life. That's what Second Life is about, guys. But, hey, other than that, hope you enjoyed the video. And I will be, uh, obviously, continuing... My road tour as we go forward. So you guys keep safe out there. Peace.